Hello guys, welcome to the Blender tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, you learned some of the basic tools used in the Blender. So in this tutorial, you will learn some of the basic concepts and properties of light and camera and how you can set your camera angle to take the image of your model. And also you will learn how to design a basic uh, simple torch using cylinder and uh, you can add a light to it. So without wasting further, let's get started. So this is the Blender interface and this is the workspace uh, in the Blender and I will select the cube and I will delete it and I will add a cylinder over here. So here the vertices are more, I will decrease the number of vertices. Here you can see that uh, the a little arrow mark over here and you click on that and here you can see the vertices option. So I will change the vertices from 32 to 8 and here you can notice some remarkable changes now i will select this cylinder and i will scale it a little bit and i will rotate it in y axis by giving a 90 degree angle to this so here you can see the basic shape of torch uh, yeah even though it doesn't look like a torch but now it will looks and uh, i will go to the edit mode by pressing tab and i will select a face selection mode and i will select this face I will extrude it and here you can see uh, the body of the torch is completed over here and now I will design a backside part of the torch I will select this face I will and I will extrude it a little bit and I will scale it a little bit you can press shift and you can scale it in a small way uh, and I will extrude it and I will insert it. Yes, here you can see the backside portion of the torch is completed. And now I will design the front part of the torch. So I will select this face and I will extrude it. I will scale it a little bit and I will extrude it a little bit and I will insert it and I will extrude it in a reverse direction that is in negative y axis. So here you can see a basic simple structure of torch over here. Now I will add a, a button to this torch a tiny little button. So I will go back to the object mode and I will set my center of origin that means this arrow mark or this cursor over here. So that the cube will be uh, imported on that point. I will add, I will press shift A and I will import a cube and now I will scale it in the X axis, I will scale it in the Y axis and also I will scale it in the Z axis. So you can see a tiny switch uh, came over here. So now I will add a color to this. Uh, so I will select this uh, body and I will come here you can see the material properties here you can just click on that and click on new here and you are you can change the base color to whichever color you wanted and you can i will keep my torch in a black color and uh, i will change the mode into render mode so here you can see the changes in the color present over here and i will select this uh, button and i will add a color to that in the same way I'll change the base color into something kind of yellowish and I will here increase the metallic uh, option to a little bit so that it looks like uh, more realistic and uh, I will also increase the roughness of this torch because it uh, looks or it give me a, a plastic kind of material so now I will add a glow to this part so I will go to the uh, edit mode and I will select this face, go to the material properties and click on new material by pressing the plus sign and here click on new and uh, from the surface it is uh, uh, default uh, as a principal BSDF shader. I will change it to emission and I will give a bit of golden color to that and I will change the glow strength up to 15% uh, and I hit enter to that and I go to the end 
I will uh, remember guys you need to assign the color and I will assign that and I'll go back to the object mode here you can see uh, some amount of glow is present on this you can increase or decrease the strength of glow uh, I'll just give 50 and I'll check and uh, 50 and I'll check I'll assign it and here the changes you can see now I will add a light source to this so how you can add uh, in the same way you set your center of origin to somewhere here of the bulb or a torch and uh, you will add a light source here you can see a light and I will add a point light or yeah point light to it and I'll increase its power to around 600 watt so yeah now I will add a plane so that you can see the reflection of the light so I press shift a to import and plane and I will scale it and now I will bring my torch above this plane so I press shift and select wait a minute I press shift and select these two things and I will grab it in a z axis and I will do this bulb in same manner I will select it and grab it in X axis so yeah guys here you can see uh, the bulb or the battery is glowing and the bulb inside this is emitting out the light here you can see another light is present over here I can just click and grab it anywhere I want it and it will give some reflection to the plastic material that means a black color of this torch and here you can in the render option here you can see that there are basically two render engine present over here and first one is ev that will uh, just decrease the quality of the image and it's like a false light it just illuminate as a light and another option is uh, cycles here you can see the real time light applications like uh, all the reflections present over here and all uh, you can uh, enable uh, you can enable the ambient oculation and bloom to enhance your light uh, properties but i will uh, disable the bloom and i will change the render into cycles so here you can see that the real time light processes reflections all that can be seen here now uh, here you can see some uh, triangle kind of shape is present over here and that is a uh, camera you can open the camera by just uh, clicking numpad zero and here you have the camera view so i can adjust the camera position wherever i want so i will go to the properties option by clicking n and here uh, under the view option lock the camera to view uh, if you lock this option uh, when, uh, whenever you changing the axis the camera view doesn't go out of that so click zero to go back to the camera view and adjust the position wherever your uh, model looks uh, perfect for you adjust the position and here click on the render option and render image option to take a picture of that the rendering images uh, take time uh, depending on your cpu performance so yeah guys this is um, all about the basic properties of light and how you can actually use the camera and camera angle to take a image how you can add a light to the object how you can make the object to emit the light and all thanks for watching if you really enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you have any suggestion let me know in the comment section